Hello everyone and welcome to another G vlog. Today I'm gonna open up this Jiku Series G-Shock watch, which is not popular, but since it is currently running out of battery, so instead of just swap the battery like that, why not film it and show with show to you guys how this watch was built into the way it is since this guy over here is very very unique. I'll cover more in the unboxing and review video, but for now, let us remove all six screws that we have on the sides. Alright, done removing all six screws, which is pretty tiny in my opinion. They are pretty short as well. As always, close up photo will be added in this video. And this is how the bezel looks like. I'm pretty sure I could. Uh, remove the bezel already. They are pretty thin and soft as well. So it makes the whole job easy Look at that. Even the button is pretty slim as well. Pop it up just like that. So this is the bezel Let's see what this metal looking plate are actually made out of and here it is and it looks like metal by the way it feels like metal as well, but Let me try to press it hold it and you know what this is indeed metal stainless steel feels solid this is definitely not plastic so that is very very interesting and we have some sort of black layer down here probably to add some grip look at the texture on that part as well it's very very nice material round shape of, of course I'm sorry this is oval shape but let me put all the screw in here all right nice way to hold them up in, into place and this will be the bezel interior look at that Gray rubber material, really soft. Look at look at how smooshy it is. And we have yeah, nothing else over here. I'm um, probably need to clean this thing up afterward as well before I reassemble it back. And this is how the body looks like. It is surprisingly round in shape, and you can see that the glass is indeed dome shaped as any other uh, G um, G Cool Series G Shock watch. Most of them, if not all of them, come with the. Uh, dome like glass so it's very, very interesting to see how much efforts that castle g-shock add in the making of this cell model so let's measure the size of the hard case alone real quick it looks very round shape and the size of the hard case from side to side we measure at 34.65 millimeters which is pretty big top to the bottom wait top to the bottom we're looking at 34.5 as well so it is indeed a round shape watch for the whole piece all the way to the top of the glass we're looking at 11.4 millimeters so not as slim but definitely slimmer than this model over here and if i was thinking this is i believe the slimmest g-shock watch that i had ever measured let me try this to quickly prior thing out and see if this it is removable but seems like still uh, sticking out of there really really tightly so yeah just skip and that part and now let's proceed to the watch band as you can see we have a metal plate up here very very cool material that they add on this resin material added some layers making this watch very unique it's very weird to see something like this aren't popular anymore today I'm pretty sure a castle G-Shock really really planning to make this watch to be one of the more popular model but it seems like it didn't work uh, as well to them as you guys go to see from recent uh, market trend look at that metal plate definitely very very cool and it seems like uh, I'm pretty sure we are able to remove this part of the spring ball already we have one over here that is holding up the watch band down there pull this thing out and what else there it is it's already coming out now and that's it that's what holding the watch band into place for the buckle which have a very unique style and also really really thick buckle for a model that is pretty slim so let's remove this part as well seems like they come with a similar style of construction however the the, the, the spring bar for the buckle is thicker than the one on the watch load Right, with this, this will be the band keeper or loop. Push thing aside, nothing much going on over there. All right, push thing over here. And this adapter is one of the most unique one as well because most of the time, G-Shock will only give us this type of adapter, which is very easy. This part over here is specially made for this type of model. And you're gonna need to remove this part 
as well by pushing the spring bar down there so basically this guy has two spring bar to lock the watch band and this type of construction really reminds me the build of the current release mod master model where they have more pin other than this just the screw to lock the uh, watch band into place okay let's do the same thing all over again on this side of the watch band push this thing out push the spring bar out just like that and push pull this watch band out push the uh, spring bar on this adapter now and now it's already coming out this thing aside and there it is this part's already coming out as well leaving us with with just the watch body So, as for the size of the lug, let's measure that part as well. So, it features a size of 14mm lug. That's it, pretty tiny. Most G-Shock will come with a 16mm lug size. There it is. Wow. Very simple. Well, not surprised because most G-Shock come with this type of construction. And the O-ring reminds me of the size of the DW003 series G-Shock watch. I'm not sure if they could fit it in here because the engine seem to be a little smaller. But the Indies have similar style of construction. The O-ring still holding up very well. Pressing aside. This will be the back plate. You guys could see up close now. GC101, hairline finish, basic stuff. and mb21 piezoelectric speaker code i have no idea what that mean but that is over there right let's the other side and this will be the engine or the back cushion first let's remove this and still sticking out there and holding up very well still so good for me and this will be the engine how about we try this thing out or just pull it out just like so it should be fairly easy though seems like they have some sort of pin that's holding the module to the hard case look at that one two three four so i'm gonna need to remove that first all right it's already popping up there it is okay now oh now i understand no wonder they need to put the clip to the hard case that's because there are no one of those uh module metal holder or even met, uh, rubber protection on the sides so basically no protection at all as far as the interior goes all of them were just based on the hard case and the bezel no wonder casio are able to make it watch this slim just remove all the protection easy right so it seems the spring, the sound spring is already popping out as well. Let me drop it out like that. Not gonna lose that. And this will be the electronics. All G-Shots came with similar style of build. We have one layer for the battery and all this metal plate. Another layer for the electronics or the computer. And another layer will be the display. Double hard case will hold all of them into place, and this is a very unique type of spring and also watch display as well. Look at that! Look at how the spring looks like. It's almost like a pyramid style type of spring. This is the first time I see something like this on the G-Shocks. It's very, very interesting. And this black layer over here is actually the uh, connector between these electronics all the way to the display panel. Let's rotate it at the front. Look at that. So this black part will connect to all this circuit or that gold plate over there. And as you guys can see, all of them will lead to this chip in the middle here. Look at all the paths that electron is going to go all the way into the middle. Everything will go to the middle. Very neatly done. Very nice. All this connected to the front. All this electronics tiny parts will be at the back. Look at all the codes. M09. I have no idea what this all means. Already forgot about this. But anyway, this is how the interlude looks. Very slim. 
Okay now let's proceed with the display panel. I'm hoping I hope I didn't lose the spring though. I don't think it's gonna be easy to put it back on, but let's use this needle instead to pry this thing out. Let me try to I hope I didn't Alright, sorry coming up, Mr. And there it is, spring fell off right away. But so far, um I hope so. I actually thought that this ring here is actually separate parts, but it seems like they're just sticker on the glass. Yeah, very weird. And we have ring around here as well, metallic finish. Look at that. And I don't think I could remove anything else over here without removing any glue. Pretty sure I need to remove the glass out of the way, and then we could have our access to all these silverish parts at the front here. But if you look at the interior, the button is still uh, holding up. In a similar manner with a C-click like so and all fours goes the same and I don't think we have any center button right so another thing that you guys should know about this dome like glass is that it will allow us to have a magnifying style uh, glass that is if you bring this up close you can see that how it gonna magnify the size of the electronics in there this is how this thing works it actually magnifies so that's interesting thing you need to know about dome like a glass panel on your G shell. Look at that, like how magnifying a tiny bit, but still something that's unique, not a flat mineral glass gonna have, of course. Okay, now we're gonna have here another thing a plate, sort of like a faceplate, but this is a place where they add in this black thing over here. So, look at this is how it looks like. This is how it connects to the display. We have a lot of lines. I'm not sure you guys can see it. Look at those black lines, connects all the way to the circuit into the display. You're barely able to see it because they have some layers in it. But if I give some reflection, you can see how all these lines are connected to all those numbers and letters on this uh, watch display panel. And we have more layers at the back over here. Obviously, this will be a sort of like a filter or a connector as well. Look at that. Look at how the spring should be connected over here. And we have another layer to protect, or I'm sort of like a glass. This part is where you could customize. If you want to add some logos, you could stick it over here. Uh, draw anything at the top here, and then put this thing back over here, and put this uh, display panel, and then we turn on the light, it will close the log, the backlighting logo. So that's how it works. If I'm not mistaken, though. All right. Put this thing back over here, and this is it. This is all the parts that made your G Cool Series G-Shock watch. It is very very interesting to see something like this on a G-Shock since it is totally different from the usual model that we got on the market. And this is it. I'm gonna need to clean all some of these parts and it's assembled it back into place. But for now, this is all that I have to share. I hope you guys found this video useful. Leave a like if it does. And also subscribe of course to see more contents like this. And if you want to donate, help this channel to grow to a bigger potential, go to my Patreon page, send me some donations, it's gonna be very helpful to me and at the same time benefit to all of you guys upcoming future. That is all. Thank you very very much for watching. This is G-Shock High Fashion Channel and I'm